Are you struggling with using the product rule to take derivatives? Well, I'm Mark from Ace Tutors, and I'm here to clear things up. Okay, before explaining how to use the product rule, let's first go over when you have to use the product rule. Just as the name suggests, you have to use the product rule whenever you are taking the derivative of an equation that is the product of two functions, aka it has two functions being multiplied together. This can be written symbolically as f of x times g of x, as seen here. To help better visualize this, here are some examples. In each of these cases, there are two separate functions that are being multiplied together. Because of this, we need the product rule to take the derivative of each of these. Okay, so what is the product rule? Returning to our symbolic equation, the product rule can be written like this. Now this may look confusing, but all that you have to do is take the derivative of the first function, multiply it by the original second function, and then add the original first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function. In other words, you take the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Although, because order doesn't matter with addition and multiplication, we can write the product rule in many different ways. For example, we could write it like this and still get the right answer. However, in order to avoid mistakes, I like to stay consistent and always use the original definition. Okay, now that we learned the definition, let's help solidify it with some examples. Let's use one of the equations we saw before. Say we have y equals 2x plus 1 times 3x squared plus x. In this case, our f of x is 2x plus 1 and our g of x is 3x squared plus x. Taking the derivative of each of these separately, we can use the power rule to find that f prime of x is 2 and g prime of x is 6x plus 1. Plugging each of these into our product rule formula, we get that the overall derivative is y prime equals 2 times 3x squared plus x plus 2x plus 1 times 6x plus 1. Boom! It's that easy. Just for good measure, let's do one more example. Say we have y equals sine x times 6x cubed plus 4. Once again, our f of x is sine x while g of x is 6x cubed plus 4. Knowing our trigonometry derivatives, we find f prime of x is equal to cosine of x. And again using the power rule, we find g prime of x equals 18x squared. Putting it all together, we get y prime equals cosine x times 6x cubed plus 4 plus sine x times 18x squared. In summary, although you can write the product rule in several different ways, it's good to be consistent. You'll never go wrong if you remember that the product rule is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.